Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allison and I'm a junior at the University of North Texas, majoring in fashion merchandising. I'm about to go to a Pilates class with Amanda. I just uploaded a video, but I'm kind of running late, so I just wanted to start this vlog. And I think the place is called Shine. Let me check. Shine Hot Pilates and Sculpt. And it's in downtown Dallas. I'm super excited. And yeah, so here we go. Okay, so I'm driving now to meet Amanda to drive to the class together, but my video that I was trying to upload at a stop sign. My video that I was trying to upload didn't upload all the way. Well, like, I got the exporting done, but I didn't get it uploaded to YouTube, and I need to get that up by tonight and, like, scheduled and everything. I'm gonna use my hotspot on my phone to get it exported or get it uploaded, hopefully. I don't know if it's gonna be strong enough, but I'm gonna try. If not, I'll just make my thumbnail because at least I'll have, like, something out of the way. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to our channel i'm kidding so we just took the class and it was so fun it absolutely murdered me especially my hip that's been hurting but we're good now we're having a photo shoot and here we go Hello guys, it's the next day now. I just stopped vlogging last night um, after my class and now I'm picking up the camera again. And I have class today and just one class. It's from two o'clock to 4.50, so won't be that bad. It's just with the professor that I talked about in my podcast, that's literally evil, but that's okay. Okay. I wanted to show you guys like my quick makeup that I would say for like class because I don't always wear makeup but I like to have like some kind of makeup on when I'm vlogging because I just feel like I <laughs> look better I'd hope so at least if I take time to put on makeup but anyway I'm just gonna do like my super quick and easy five minute class makeup and I thought I would show you guys because I don't know it's really simple and it works and you know so first I'm starting with my moisturizer this is the Kiehl's ultra facial cream my favorite moisturizer on the whole planet it works so good it's like not that cheap at all but like it works good and it's worth it I wouldn't um, count my moisturizer and serums as five minutes because that's like not the actual makeup but I always do my skincare regardless of if I put on makeup or not because skin now I'm using the Sephora vitamin E and C serum I just put drops everywhere this stuff is the best I've bought it so many times so after that I usually just let it soak in for a couple seconds and I haven't been wearing foundation recently like at all and I kind of like my skin better without it I've realized and I've just been wearing concealer so ooh. this is the bare minerals bare skin um, complete coverage serum concealer it works so good my friend Madeline recommended this to me and the tip is like super like flat and like easy to apply and I just like how natural it is it's not like too much you know so I usually just go under my eyes and like where my little acne scars are not like super heavily I just want like a little bit of coverage you know that's usually the extent 
of the concealer and then I use my beauty blender yeah so I just like how it adds just like a little bit of coverage but like it still has like that weightless natural look and then I've been using the bare minerals um, setting powder in fair I just use this under my eyes to make sure it, like it doesn't crease I've been using a lot of bare minerals products and I honestly very much like them I just feel like they're more natural and not so like cakey and like covering I guess I was having a really hard time like finding products that like don't suffocate my skin I guess for lack of a better word because I feel like a lot of foundations like literally want to cover every ounce of your actual face and like I don't know I really work really hard to have good skin and take care of my skin so like why would I cover it when like I don't know but like it looks super natural with just the concealer and then I put the powder under my eyes I just let it set for a little bit and then while it's setting, I use an eyebrow pencil. This is the NYX Precision Brow Pencil. Nothing special, it's just a brow pencil. And then it has a brush on the side. And it depends, sometimes I don't do my eyebrows at all and sometimes I do. Um, I don't know. I'm not really feeling doing my eyebrows today. I'm trying to like leave them alone more and then I just use the Glossier boy brow. This stuff is very good. I just have it in clear and I just like brush them up. The most frustrating thing about my eyebrows is this one goes up and this one like naturally goes to the side so it always looks like they're uneven and it's not that they're uneven it's that this one grows a different direction. And it really messes up the symmetry on my face. Like, it's the most frustrating thing, but that's fine. I'm probably gonna get them microbladed because I've had enough. Just take a brush and take the powder away from under my eyes. I use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I don't always use bronzer, but I have tanner on my face right now, so I kind of like want it to look like it. My face matches my body a little. And then I go on my forehead a little. And I go like this to make sure my bronzer doesn't go everywhere because I don't really like apply it professionally. So I like to like go down my jawline to accentuate like my actual um, cheekbone, I guess on both sides and then I will usually blend it out after I put on my blush which is the NYX pink blush it's called pink the town it it works it does the trick and then I just put that on my little cheeks I feel like blush is like the key to like a natural makeup look sometimes I just like wear blush and not bronzer because it's just like super natural and I always put it down my nose because it kind of just gives you like a little like sun-kissed look. And then I use this Makeup Obsession Mega Destiny Highlighter. It's just a highlighter from Target. And then I use this little brush. I don't use the correct brushes for anything. I just kind of like do them. I'm no pro. Uh, put that up here. On my nose. And then I usually go like this. I use my eyelash curler and roller lash. Sometimes I don't wear mascara at all and sometimes I do. It really just depends. But I'm going to blend this out. I'm going to use this. This is the best mascara ever because it just like curls them and makes them look more natural I'd say than other ones because it's not like clumpy. It's very like curling in like what's the word separating i would say glossier coconut bomb.com this stuff is the best and then setting spray ta-da um i'm gonna do something with my hair but that's like my quick 
an easy makeup look for class. My, hair, my face is like kind of wet right now from the setting spray, but it's like super simple, natural, and I feel like you just look more put together, I guess you would say. I just finished getting ready. I just did my makeup and then put dry shampoo in my hair, but I was gonna show you guys my outfit. It's really boring, but like comfy, so it's fine. I have on this kale sweatshirt from Nordstrom. Sweatpants from ASOS and then I just have all my Nike Air Force ones But I think I bought these in the tall version. So they're like extra long on me. I'm not used to like Anything being long on me. So I think that's like why I feel weird in them They're actually like how they fit a normal person. I think but whatever I'm gonna leave soon go to class and What else that's all I only have one class today Thank God. After class, I think I'm meeting up with an, one of my YouTube friends, actually. She um, has a channel as well. I'm super excited to meet up with her. I think we're going to the Starbucks in the Union. Her name's Natalie, if you're familiar with her college content. And she makes really great videos. So I'll have her link down below if you're interested. But anyway, I'm gonna leave soon. I should probably eat first, but I'm just like not that hungry right now. But the class is from 2 o'clock to 4.50, so like I know I'm gonna be starving, so that's just the worst. You know, I just got to campus. It literally, t well, I did not just get here. I got here 30 minutes ago, and it took me 30 minutes to find parking. I always forget that on Tuesday, Thursdays, everyone always has a 2 o'clock class. And um, yeah. I almost got killed in the parking lot like three times. I would just like to say the men with the big trucks, like they're so aggressive. Like, like there's enough to go around. How about you just like have a seat? Thank you. But anyway, my class starts in about 15 minutes and I'm gonna walk there soon. I'm really not excited, <laughs> but I wore my hair down today so I can um, hide my AirPods so that this professor does not affect my mental health like she did last time. But yeah, I'm gonna walk to class now. It's really like gloomy out today. Okay, the funniest thing ever just happened to me. So we use these sensors at work and there's like a metal piece and a plastic piece, but like uh, one of them is inside of my shoe like that could have definitely stopped me and now I have to get it out Like this is not good. Like these are like really sharp and I guess I like Literally this Was in my shoe. That's great. Um, great. I'm gonna throw it out now Terrifying. Hello guys. So here I am. It's unfocused great this is natalie hi our height difference is really funny look i'm so <laughs> short no you're not i feel like you're like an average height and i'm just really tall but it's she okay. also has a youtube channel like i mentioned yes you guys should go follow me i also you do definitely should my college and lifestyle vlogs as well and she goes to unt clearly because yes. here we are but yeah <laughs> Back in my car now, it's actually so funny because Natalie that um, I just showed in the last clip that has a channel and she goes to UNT, it was so funny because we were planning to meet and get coffee after class, but we didn't realize that we were in the same class. So when class was ending, she was like walking out and she was right in front of me and then like turned around and we made eye contact and she was like, oh my God, Allison. And I was like, what? It's so weird because she's an accounting major and I'm a fashion merchandising major and we have a class together. So what are the odds of that? But it was so nice meeting her. She's so sweet. You should definitely check out her channel like I mentioned before. I'm driving home now from campus. It's like 5 o'clock and I'm so hungry. I'm probably going to make some kind of dinner when I get home. I think like tilapia and like potatoes and broccoli or something I'm not sure but I'm so hungry and I'm gonna edit this video I have some accounting homework to do super pumped because my accounting class started today and yeah it's been a really good day though I'm really just like you know it's nice to have like the semester back and my routine back because I finally feel like everything's in place again and yeah so that's what's going on uh -huh. <laughs> 